today yes you failed yesterday you started a company and it failed you started ministry and it failed you organized a crusade and you laid hands on the sick and it looked like nothing happened you left that crusade ground as if you were returning from a funeral you went back home and you said god did you call me and so chances are that when god instructs you again yesterday the memory of yesterday has such a passion to leap into your today you have to obtain grace from god to cut that string that connects you to yesterday there are many people who would have been doing so much for the kingdom but yesterday you want to rise and yesterday tells you did your father not try this did your are you the only pastor in your area did they not try living by divine health did they not try tithing did they not try giving and when yesterday overwhelms you you are unable to do anything the fear of the past there are many people who cannot rise up today and do great things because the voice of yesterday seems louder than the passion that will move them today and tomorrow i came tonight joining faith with your pastor in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god every connection between you and yesterday we cut it forever we cut it forever listen to me when nathaniel heard about jesus he laughed and said can anything good come out of nazareth i hope you know nathaniel was not lying there was a track record he was speaking based on facts dr munro of blessed memory he says the fact is the present state of a thing the truth is that thing as designed by god the fact is the present state of anything You did ministry yesterday and you failed you prayed for the sick you failed you started a business you failed you went to school you failed you applied for a job you failed and the devil can use those things to impede you he will use the voice of men and he will tell you you cannot make progress but he speaks to you tonight his majesty fear not when they came to jesus and jesus was wondering gave them a word over the catch they said master there is a history we have toiled all night before you came we've been doing it he says but nevertheless somebody say nevertheless prophesy say nevertheless yes i prayed for you yesterday and you were not healed but it's not the yesterday version that is coming to you now between yesterday and today Saul has encountered Samuel I know that I did not have the prophetic grace to know where the donkey was missing but while you are rejoicing over the weak Saul he has met Samuel and received an anointing and is now one of the prophets listen this is one of the dangers of being around people who used to know you because they always think the version of you they knew is the version that remains they, they did not meet the version that has received an impartation they did not meet the version that has prayed and fasted they didn't meet the version that has now been mentored they met you when you just came into abuja ignorant of spiritual principles a non titer you are not a giver not established in the house of god so your your lack of results well, that's the testimony they have every time they mention your name they trace it to that jesus died but he only died for three days don't talk about the dead jesus when he's already resurrected as at when they met you january you have not received the baptism of the holy ghost you didn't seem to take god seriously 
but let me tell you this from january till now they didn't know you came to water life they didn't know the fire that came from this altar upon your spirit it is very natural for people to trace you to the version of you they used to know and that can be dangerous some of those people can even be your family members when they hear that this man is now serving God they laugh and they say the last time we checked this guy was a broke failure who did not know God what suddenly happened oh do not laugh at Samuel while he's looking for the missing donkey there is an angel leading him to encounter a prophet and then encounter a grace that will make him king go and ask any successful man who has made constructive advancement in the kingdom they will tell you they had to conquer the fear of yesterday